Toilet bowl sets or toilet bowl covers. Now, the ones I'm talking about, I will have little inserts around here. They are the tacky ones, like the rugs on top of the toilet seat. Um, the ones that come with like a rug for the bottom of the toilet, a t the tub rug, or like the rug that you come out of the tub however you want to put it. It just comes with a bunch of rugs and unnecessary items. So those sets, a, a waste of money, um, they create clutter, and they do not last long. I personally grew up with all of those sets, and I can't tell you how many of them my mother went through and other family members went through. I always wondered, like, what do they do besides creating, like, a theme in the bathroom? Or I know some people find them cozy, and that's okay, but like overdoing it or getting those really fluffy ones. It's like, you, you could definitely live without. You can have a plain bathroom, it's okay. Cause believe it or not, the bathroom is just to go to the bathroom and to take a shower or to get ready. It's not to look fancy all the time or it's not to look fancy at all, to be honest with you. So those toilet bowl covers, trust me, you can live without them. Plastic shower liners. I feel like plastic shower liners are the biggest waste of money and I'm so surprised that people are still buying these. My sisters are guilty of this. I'm not putting them down. I just, I'm always baffled on like, why are they still buying these? Because they buy them like once a month and I'm like, you can completely forget about that bill if you just get one reusable curtain. We have a reusable curtain. We've always had reusable curtains. Obviously when you move, you do forget to take the curtain. I always forget to take the curtain. I'm not gonna lie. That's like the last thing I forget to pack. Maybe because it's hanging up in the bathroom and you worry about other stuff. So I always end up leaving the curtain behind, which I promise myself I will not do that here. We're definitely gonna take the curtain we have in the bathroom with us when we do move in the future. But if you're still using plastic liners, you can live without them. You can get one reusable curtain, wash it once a week or wash it once a month, however you prefer, I'm not judging. And that's it. You don't have to purchase any more curtains ever, ever again. Don't put them in the dryer, hang them up to dry in your shower like you normally do, like when they're wet. When you get out of the shower, you can just hang them up and that's it. Let's say goodbye to those one use plastic shower liners. You don't even need liners. Like I said, you just need one shower, reusable shower curtain and you're all set for years and years to come. Fancy organizing containers. I mean, I want, I would like to blame YouTube and Pinterest on this one. I fell into this trap when I had my first apartment. I purchased these bamboo containers. I purchased them from Ikea. I went out my way to go to Ikea to get these because I seen another minimalist YouTuber have them and I only have one bamboo thing left and I use it for tea bags. The other ones I gave away because I had no use for them. You don't really need to store everything in your bathroom and you don't need to store everything in fancy containers. If you get pasta sauce or if you get any kind of sauce or seasoning and it comes in a glass mason jar, save the mason jars. Reuse those instead of going out and purchasing these fancy organization containers for the bathroom. You don't need to be wasting your money on items like this and like this. It's unnecessary. Stick with things that are free. You'll thank yourself later. Your wallet will thank you as well. And just remember that your house and your life does not have to look like a magazine. Your bathroom does not need to look perfect. You don't need to use a bunch of fancy organizers like other people are using. Let them waste their money and let you save your money. Decor slash theme. This is a big one because I feel like a lot of people go out their way to do a theme not just in their house, but in their bathroom. I myself grew up with the moon and the sun theme. Um, I believe my mom still has that theme right now. I also grew up with kill a whale themes. I grew up with so many freaking themes for the bathroom. And I always used to think to myself like, why not just have the bathroom like a color? Because the thing with themes is that you get sick of them like this. When it comes to a certain color, it's not as tiring to the eyes. It's very simple, basic. It's very pleasing, I should say, to the eye. It's more pleasing, less distracting than a theme. Now, if you do prefer themes for a bathroom or even for your house, 
less is more. You don't need to have a seashell theme and you need to have seashell curtains, towels, a seashell on your sink, a seashell on your toilet. You don't need any of that, okay? You can do a seashell curtain and maybe get some eggshell towels so it all like so it all goes together but you're not overpowered by a theme in the bathroom just go with a basic color for your bathroom it's less distracting you're gonna save yourself some money and like i said before the bathroom is just to get ready and to go to the bathroom so yeah <laughs> and the last thing is gadgets this is huge because I feel like with Amazon, with Best Buy, with all these places nowadays, they have these bathroom gadgets such as the Bluetooth speakers that can go on the sink or in your tub or on your shower. The skincare refrigerator, I've been seeing it everywhere. I personally just put my skincare items in our main fridge. That little lip that lifts up in the fridge, like that little container area. I put my skincare in there. Yes, I don't have much skincare, but even if I did, I wouldn't put all my skincare in the fridge. There's some skincare items you don't need to put in the fridge, but there's like something online where everyone is doing that now. So I do think it's just a trend. Um, the skincare refrigerator does, it's just, I don't know. It's just a waste of money. And it's a huge space taker in the bathroom. And there's also other gadgets. There's aromatherapy little machines. Um, I believe there's like a lot of facial gadgets that people are keeping in their bathrooms. Like, I mean, I was guilty of having jade rollers and stuff. And then the minute I dropped them, they shattered but those things I would keep in the bathroom on the sink and it just clutters everything up so you really don't need all those gadgets you can live without the gadgets um, you can live without the skincare refrigerator for the Bluetooth speaker I honestly just use my phone and sometimes I use the bathroom like when I take a shower and stuff I use it as peace and quiet time in the bathroom but of course we are all different as much as I love music I don't go out my way to purchase a Bluetooth for the bathroom I'll just use my phone honestly it's less money spent and less clutter in the house so keep it basic with gadgets less is more when it comes to those because I'm telling you they're just not worth it especially for the bathroom there's other things that you could spend your money on that are 10 times better or you could just save your money instead of spending it <laughs> anyways I really hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know down below if you would like me to continue this series I can go towards the kitchen area the living room the bedroom just let me know down below I would gladly do those rooms of things that you can live without slash things you don't really need. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you in the next video.